The people spoke and one man's junk listened. So on top of fixing our volume issue, we are presenting this, an awesome one man's junk action figure identification special. So first on the chopping block guys, we've got two pieces here from Hasbro and it's from a fairly popular line that would be Cops and Crooks. So here's a little tip guys, when you are hunting for accessories for Cops and Crooks, usually there'll be a nice big piece of plastic like this one and I'll have this metal piece here which incidentally, as there you go, hopefully you heard that, um, that's basically a cap firing mechanism. So that was one of the features of that series and that helps to easily distinguish those weapons. Okay guys, don't get too upset. It's not what you think it is. It's not King Randor's cloak, which of course, as we all know, is a solid $40, $50 accessory. This guy here, well, it could be one of two. Um, I'm going to say that it's probably packaged with ace stone protectors. However, there is a small chance it could be the cloak that comes with space Usagi Ojimbo from Playmates, but I have a feeling based upon the the feel of the cloak here that it is in fact stone protectors. Okay, and of course you probably noticed this piece, it really captures your attention. This, of course, is from Indiana Jones, Kenner, and that's from the Well of Souls. A really great piece. Um, I actually pick up little pieces of Indiana Jones, Kenner, anytime I see them, they are very hard to come by. And it's really well made, a really well made, thought out set. All right, and here's two that are right up my alley. They of course are from the 90s, it's from the same line. It's a Hollywood movie that they made an action figure line for. It's none other than Hasbro Small Soldiers. Now the um, dagger here is fairly easy to recognize here. Um, those who are familiar with action figures should know that but that was packaged with Archer. But this one is actually really cool. This is the one that came along with the power cycle. In fact, we mentioned that in the last episode because of course that power cycle, it was packaged with none other than Scratch It. Here's two great looking pieces. So these here, believe it or not, actually belong to a playset. So they're pretty hard to come by. Not exceptionally valuable, but definitely desirable. They were packaged with Matchbox Pee Wee's Playhouse. So not with the figures, but with the actual Playhouse. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that these are pieces that go missing fairly regularly. Very happy with that. All right, now here's one that may be difficult to uh, view here with this red background. Here we go. So that actually is from Captain Planet, Tiger Toys. And that was packaged with, I believe it's Scuzz, his name is? All right. So if you are a regular viewer of the show, you should recognize these. These are from my favorite company. Any guesses? Yes, that's right, Remco. And these are from Mighty Crusaders and Mighty Defenders. And these are the shields that were packaged with the figures, which as I've mentioned before, double up as a whistle as well. There you go. What better way to irritate your parents? All right, so I got a little excited about this one because this here, believe it or not, belongs to Dungeons and Dragons Bronze Dragon. So I know that's a bit of a shock. The bronze wing belongs to the Bronze Dragon. But the reason I got so excited about it is because I actually already have a bronze wing. So I was hoping this would be the opposite one. But instead, as is always the way, unfortunately, yes, it's the same one. Now that's a really cool one. This is actually a very hard to find piece. It belongs to Kenner Police Academy, but it's from the second series. Um, I can't remember the name of the character, but I will show you the picture right now. Um, and it's actually, like I said, it's a really hard to find piece. Okie dokes. Guys, everybody and their granny knows this one by now. These actually were packaged with Kenner, real Ghostbusters, of course. Um, I believe that's from uh, Screaming Heroes or Screaming Heroes 2. I'll show you right now who these accessories were, of course, packaged with. Okay, this is a really cool one. Not what you would expect. It's from Kenner and it belongs to none other than Predator. 
Okay, so this comes from a line um, that I have mentioned before. I have identified a few parts from it before. Uh, you may be a bit puzzled, not really sure what you're looking at. Maybe this will give you a clue. And if that doesn't do it, then this certainly will. There you go. Yes, it's from Mattel and it's from the Wheeled Warriors line. Actually, if you go to transformerland.com, there's an excellent Wheeled Warriors section where it shows you each vehicle with all the accessories, or should I say pieces, it was packaged with. Now that's a really cool, useful little piece. Not too crazy, not too out there, pretty self-explanatory. Yes, it is, of course, the Green Lantern. It is his left arm, but have a look at that. Nice and clean. There you go. You see there's no broken bits of plastic in there. So we'll be able to slot that right back on as soon as I find a green lantern that is missing a left arm. Now these are great. Uh, you may have seen them before or you've maybe never seen them ever. They come from Tycho Double Dragon, which of course was a video game. Um, and then it was made into a cartoon series and an action figure line. But these are the masks that were packaged with them. Interesting fact, that one actually goes with the red dragon and the red mask goes with the blue dragon. Moving on, we've got two very nice vintage pieces. So these were packaged with Filmation Blackstar, which was actually before He-Man, although most people think it is a knockoff of He-Man. It actually came before He-Man. This cloak here, I believe, uh, goes to Overlord. And this is one of the accessories here. I'm pretty sure it was packaged with the Palace Guard. These are be becoming increasingly more difficult to come by, these glow-in-the-dark accessories. Of course, I would know being that I am a glow-in-the-dark collector. Wow, what a lovely piece. This accessory was packaged with New Adventures of He-Man, Skeletor, uh, Terra Discs, Skeletor. So a lovely accessory. Now this piece here can be a bit tricky. It's not particularly valuable, but it's certainly rare and hard to come by. It was originally packaged with the speeder bikes from Return of the Jedi, Star Wars, Kenner, and it's one of the back flaps. So it was packaged with two, and because it's removable and due to the size, it does tend to get lost very easily. Lovely, lovely, lovely piece. I've found it before, and I guess that's why it, I found it again. It's almost like magnetism. Once you find and identify an accessory, they just seem to follow you. So this was packaged with none other than Street Sharks. And it's for rocks, which would be the long-haired, singing, dancing Street Shark. Alright guys, and finally, this was the best find in that bucket. I am so happy. This piece here was packaged along with Hasbro Takara Battle Beasts. It's for the Stag vehicle. And well, I'm sure you figured it out by now. I have the Stag vehicle missing this head. I've been trying to track this head down for a very reasonable price for the last eight months. Folks, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something or picked something up, and I hope maybe it helped you identify some uh, accessories. Please, as always, feel free to write me, text me if you have any questions about action figures or action figure accessories. We'll have a new video out in a few days, and of course, we'll see you at Zolocon. Thanks again. Bye now.